Hey, what's up guys? I'm Adrian Ramirez. Today I have two new stories about Pokemon. The first being about Charizard. This 1999 Pokemon based first edition could be the most expensive Pokemon card ever sold, selling potentially for $500,000. Insane, I know. The Charizard will be sold as part of Godin Auctions Holiday Auction, with the auction house comparing the valuable card to other esteemed collectibles, such as the 1952 Topps Mickey Mantle Rookie Card. The auction house front on its website. At first, the two hunger for pieces might seem unrelated, but after ordering the juxtaposition for a minute, real, even compelling parallels emerge. Both items showcase larger than life figures who occupy center stage in the fantasies of countless enthusiasts. Both pieces, especially in top grade preservation, radiate a physical beauty which effectively combines attributes that resonate even with the uninitiated. The bidding started on November 23 with a minimum of $50,000. It is currently at $170,000, but according to the auction director, Dave Ammerman, he believes this car has the ability to reach a $500,000 sale. According to the auction post, the Charizard is graded gold label pristine 10 by SGC. Black diamond label certified by MBA. This is the only example validated by SGC at the company's most prestigious level. If you guys don't know what MBA stands for, it stands for Mike Baker Authenticated. Mike Baker Authenticated is a professional third party organization that accesses and validates the hobby's finest graded cards. MBA evaluations provide detailed objective conclusions that allow the most advanced collectors and discerning investors to identify and obtain the highest caliber pieces from among the industry's very best material. A Charizard example graded PSA game MT10 recently changed hands in a private sale for $250,000. According to Godin's founder and CEO Ken Godin, having been given the highest possible grades by two highly respected third parties authenticators SGC and MBA, we believe this will be the most valuable Pokemon card ever sold. So what do you guys think? Is this card valuation going to reach half a million dollars? Let me know in the comments. Now for the second news stories, we will talk about my favorite Pokemon, Kadabra. So two decades ago, magician and illusionist Yuri Geller sued Nintendo in a California court for its Kadabra Pokemon card, alleging the company used his likeness to create the character. You guys probably don't know, but this guy was apparently known for his spoon bending trick at the time, just like Kadabra. Now Geller is apologizing for the lawsuit in which he claimed Nintendo turned him into an evil, occult Pokemon character and stole his identity by using his name and his signature image, according to a BBC story from 2000. The California lawsuit was dismissed in 2003. He reportedly filed several other lawsuits globally according to The Guardian. He really went out of his way to stop the Pokemon character Kadabra. But now he has had a change of heart. Keller wrote on Twitter, I'm truly sorry for what I did 20 years ago. Kids and grown-ups, I'm releasing the ban. It's now all up to Nintendo to bring my Kadabra Pokemon card back. It will probably be one of the rarest cards now. Much energy and love to all. He actually published a video where he goes through a large suitcase which contains a bunch of Kadabra Pokemon cards in Japanese and in English. By the way, the Japanese card is called Young Geller, which is very close to Geller's name. Hi everyone! This suitcase, Pokemon, I haven't opened for 20 years since I put the ban on Pokemon. You are the first ones to witness it. Okay, here we go. Look, look, this was all when I did the, went to the lawyers stupidly, Pokemon cards. Wow. Jungeller, Kadabra. I mean, the list goes on and on. I wonder what's in here. More Pokemon cards. Don't know what this is. Anyhow, thanks very, very much for all your nice messages. Bless you all and Pokemon, Jungeller, Kadabra is free finally. Mwah. To be honest, he practically has hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of Kadabra cards and figures in that suitcase. No one knows if Nintendo will begin reprinting Kadabra cards. What do you guys think about the Kadabra ban? Let me know in the comments below. That is the end of the video guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Have a good day guys. Bye.